So these are old timber roads that were paved back in the 19th cent, late 19th century with blue slag from the iron mines which comes up <coughs> different colors blue green and I always pick it buckets of it actually and take back every year it keeps coming up more and more so there's always more I take it back to my home I have it in Lithuania it was amazing for a child to see especially someone like me who loves stones and rocks but to see all these blue beautiful pieces of what were for me just stones or rocks and my dad told me when I was real little of course I stopped believing like later like Santa Claus he said that this these blue slag came from the sky and when there were big thunderstorms and lightning it would chip out and they they fell down here and I, I always believed him and I I wrote this poem I guess in my mid-twenties about that it's called slag now learn to make from what remains what no one will ever take even as a child you knew the blue slag petaled in the dirt road was seed and bone of sky the trick is to build it again t-square and puncheon tree and skeleton cross beam of star and air and climb home. And this, I just pick up slag here, but this ridge, the name of this ridge is Grave Ridge. It's not a very big ridge. It just starts and comes down towards the cabin, but it was the first ridge that I ever knew a name of when I was a child. And the fact that it was called Grave, G-R-A-V-E Ridge was, of course, fascinating. Uh, here's a, here, look at this, bend down here. See how it comes up? You can put the camera close. Here's a piece of blue, beautiful blue slag that's in the moss and it's just coming up. It's all dirt now, but when I clean it, I'm gonna take this home. So, and look here. I mean, I'm still excited <laughs> at all this slag. Oh, yeah. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Can you imagine a whole road? It's like uh, the Wizard of Oz, but not gold, but blue slag. So I'm going to read a, a poem written not so long ago, much later, about Grave, grave Ridge, this ridge. Because when my father died, I cut off before he, some of his locks, and I put them different places that were kind of sacred to him. So, Grave Ridge.